Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for this is going to be your mid Molly's corner. We're going to cover love, wealth, and health. And this is going to span for April uh, 17th to 30th. So, guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you look at person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. So my darlings, let's just look here. We're gonna be talking about love, then wealth, and then health. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's gonna have my Tauruses as a glove life for April 17th to 30th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look here. All right, so. Okay, okay. Okay, all right, okay. Let's take a look at the overall energy here. We got the strength card energy. Okay, so someone's trying to be really strong, confident. I feel like in this case scenario, for you guys this month, it feels a little bit passionate in nature, okay? When it comes, when I feel the strength card, it just feels like the overall energy is there's some passion here, some chemistry with someone here, and they're just trying to show themselves to you you know, to reveal some things to you about the situation. Okay, and we see, yeah, they want to defend their position here. So let's see what's going on. So Ten of Cups, there's definitely some things happening for you guys, Taurus, that are really going to make you happy here. This is the current situation. But we see that the World card, some of you definitely dealing, even Aries was had some stuff about long distance situations in the blockage. For some of you, there may be a long distance situation going on with the World card energy, or others of you, things haven't come full circle as of yet, okay? Something hasn't been accomplished or completed yet, okay? With the World card energy being the blockage. Um, I feel like, again, it's, for me, for you guys, it has the feeling of something very passionate in nature. Again, even when I work with that world card, it feels like something is being revealed about attraction and um, chemistry. That's what I feel like. There's some, some blockage around that as of yet. Because we see in the cups, the nine of cups energy is in the past. It, it, it was like there was an awareness of this connection. Okay, you guys connect it with someone here. And... Um, it was just like, wow, I can't believe this. This is amazing. Like, it just seems like we're both on the same level of connection here with this Nine of Cups energy. And this is everything that I want. This is everything that I've been waiting for. Okay, and Nines talk about some sense of desires here. This is, this is definitely something that you were desiring here in the past. And we see now it's coming into the future and it's something very happy about this in the current Ten of Cups energy, a very uh, content kind of energy about this. But we also see in the influence, there is some blockages or stagnation here with the hangman energy. So let's get a little bit more information about what's going on here, Taurus, and go deeper on the situation and find out what this hangman is about. What's, what needs to be completed here? All right, what's going to have my Taurus's romantic love life? for now until the end of April. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see in the current, okay, so you're just like in disbelief, like the false person talks about, is there deceptions here? Is there something that I'm not aware of that I'm not seeing here about the situation? Because I'm very, very happy but I'm just concerned that maybe I'm being overly happy about this. Maybe there's going to be something that's going to, it's going to, there's going to be some kind of shoe that's going to drop here in this situation. Okay. And we see that the focus right now needs to be just on being happy. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Go to the blockage here. Okay. So the blockage is the sense of order, the sense of structure in this situation that's blocking things. So someone's really focused on routines. Uh, um, Okay, so that's something about that situation that seems to be blocking things. Okay, so we see that the change card is the influence. So something is stuck and stagnant as the influence or trying to see things from a new perspective. And we do see that there's changes coming in for you guys as the influence, big changes coming in. Okay, and we see in the past, yes, there was a victory here. There was somebody who wanted your attention, okay? Uh, 
there's somebody that wants your attention and this was everything that you wanted here with the Nine of Cups energy. But we see now the block, it seems to be something that needs to come full circle. Now let's talk about what the world card could be. Now it could talk about long distance. There could be something to do with travel here that could be causing a blockage in your romantic love life. Um, uh, this also, the military person, somebody could be in the military, okay? Okay, uh, is, I know that's a very specific message, but you know, there could be somebody who you're, you may be in love with who is in the military and um, they may be having to do some kind of travel or go away here, um, but maybe causing some blockages here. For others of you, it could be because of work, because the military person could represent work. The military person can also represent um, needing to have things structured and organized in a certain way. The world card can talk about, okay, how can we take this from this level of commitment to the next level of commitment, okay? Because something hasn't been completed yet with the world card energy. Something needs to come full circle here with the world card energy. But Spirit is saying with the focus right now, just focus on your happiness, okay? Don't feel like the shoe is going to drop here. Don't feel like something is happening here or something deceptive is going on in the situation. Don't lose hope, okay? because this is everything that you want. I know there's some stagnation right now because a big change is happening for you guys, but you know what? The advice is four of swords energy. Take some time out for yourself to think and plan here, or spirit wants you to know that there's some planning and thinking about this meeting, okay? About coming together, about going out. Okay, so let's keep going. So what's gonna have my Tauruses? Romantic love life for now until April 30th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? So there's some, you're, you're at a crossroads right now. You're just like, they must be telling me some lies here, okay? I'm trying to be happy, but I feel like I'm having a lot of doubts. Okay, so I'm just gonna go further here and we're gonna see, Spirit is saying, look, don't lose hope, focus on your happiness right now, okay, in this uncertainty. And in the past, yes, some of you, this person was everything that you wanted, um, and there was a lot of attention here, and there was something that was a renewal here. For some of you, you reconcile with somebody from the past. For others of you, it was the person that really helped you to reconcile and heal from the past. So we see the block, it seems to be, is there an opportunity here? You know, can things be structured and organized so that we can come full circle? And then going further, your advice is not to be confused, to get some more clarity here. The influence is there's going to be some heart to heart conversations here. The influence is saying that you guys are going to have some conversations about some big changes in the stuck energy, okay? So going further, we can see that the, the potential here is. I'm gonna invest some time. And we see the main person, the main person card could be you, could be the love interest to heal this connection. Okay, so there's gonna be some heart to heart conversations because of this sense of confusion to heal the situation and this uncertainty and to make a decision to reconcile towards an opportunity, okay? Going further, um, it looks like there's some big changes coming up because of a meeting, because of coming together with a person. Um, there may be some lack of hope because someone's procrastinating or I feel like someone may be like, oh, they're not telling me the truth. And there is a victory because of some form of structure organization here. Okay, in this situation. Okay, let's go further. And then we see here as well, um, the stuck energy because somebody's thinking and contemplating about how to invest time in the situation or trying to be patient here. Um, we see that there's a happy energy and Ten of Cups talks about another happy energy and something that you're going to get what you want here because things are going to come full circle. So let's talk about it. What's going to happen here? What's going to happen here? Okay, so that was the basically the sum of what's been going on, but let's see what's going to happen. Okay, so there's going to choice that's going to be made here to speak a truth. Um, we could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy involved and an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy involved. May not be, okay, for some of you. It may just be one person, okay? It could be saying, I made a decision. I want to say the right things and do the right things and speak my truth to you because I want to explore this with you. I want this potential passion, all right? I feel like, you know, there's, um, there's definitely this 
flirty kind of energy here. Okay, so let's go further. House and okay. So we see it going further. Book card, wheel of fortune, letter, message, or document. So again, there's going to be some communication happening with this person, okay? And it looks like you're going to gain knowledge here of the fact that this person is going to make a decision based on the fact that they are having a lot of gloomy thoughts, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, okay? And we see that there's something to do with this house or wanting something stable here. And so this person is going to take a leadership role to speak their truth and things are going to align in your favor. It looks like there is going to be the sense of, I want to take away this flirty kind of energy, passion and energy, or maybe this other situation, there was some kind of potential uh, passionate situation or somebody flirted and that maybe that's why things broke apart. But there's going to be some kind of letter, message, or document. Things are going to line in your favor. You're going to gain knowledge about this. Okay, so it's saying happy, positive outcomes around this because this person's obsessed with you. They have strong desires with you. And they're going to speak their truth about these deceptions. Okay, we see that there was something, there's something unexpected that's going to happen. It's going to bring success in love, okay, in your expectations. And we see, yep, Ten of Pentacles, some sense of abundance. And this defensive energy is going to come to an end. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Okay, you know I want to hear from you, Taurus, in the comments below. All right, so let's now move into your, your career and finance. But before that, I just want to get a little bit more information here about your situation when it comes to your romantic love life. Anything else, Barrett, you want to say to Taurus about this situation, please? Okay, let's see. It says, listen to your intuition. There's a lot to celebrate. Just trust in that. It seems like a lot of signs so far are, are, are going to have a very happy outcome for their situation. And it's saying, listen to your intuition. There's a lot to celebrate. There's a positive outcome that's assured. You just have to take this leap of faith into the unknown and trust it. Okay. All right, Taurus, let's now talk about your career in finance here. All right, so it's going to have my Taurus's career in finance now until the end of April, April 30th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. What's going to have my Taurus's career in finance for now until the end of April, April 30th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see here. All right, in the current, we see the Prince of Cups or the Knight of Cups. So there's somebody that's going to be very helpful to you uh, in the current, or they may already be there, okay, helping you, okay? So Knight of Cups is a helpful energy. Um, there's actions being taken here to be helpful. Okay, so let's see what that's about. Because of the fact that there's some stress and anxiety you guys are going to deal with here, it looks like there's some indecisions about this, okay? because you're concerned that this person's kind of lying to you, okay? We see that the focus right now needs to be on being patient, okay, or getting some advice here, Queen of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And Spirit is saying you're going to get something unexpected, something of value out of this situation. Um, some of you may be even receiving a bonus here because if you see unexpected money coming in, okay? We see in the past that uh, the Knight of Wands is here. So some of you guys in the past, you made some kind of abrupt decision here, okay, to just go for something here. And it was because of some kind of letter message document, okay, paperwork. Okay, so an abrupt decision was made because of this letter message document invitation or paperwork. We see that the block, it seems to be this Five of Swords energy. You kind of are in this situation where you guys are uh, in this defeated like aspect of like, man, I'm so defeated. I don't know what to do about this situation. You know, I just, I just give up, all right? Because of receiving something of value here. So gift card can be a bonus, okay? But Spirit is like, look, get some advice on this. You will, you will get this, this bonus, okay? Because right now there's some kind of blockage in receiving something here, receiving um, a commission or a bonus 
are receiving something of value, you guys are very defeated in that. But Spirit is like, get some advice here. Queen of Cups energy, be patient. You are going to get something unexpected here. So just stay focused on that. Okay, because in the potential, you guys are at a crossroads because you're like, oh man, there was some kind of deceptions because of the self-doubt that's going on here. Okay. The advice is hold on to the situation. Four of Pentacles. Also, Four of Pentacles can talk about saving. Okay, you need to save. Yep, so you can recover, okay? And then we see the Queen of Pentacles is here. This is the card of being patient, getting some advice, and really thinking about the long term, okay? Could be a Taurus for Capricorn energy. It's fair to say you're going to be stable here. There's an influence of stable energy here, okay? Or grounded energy here. So we see main person, which could be you, okay? Um, we see that, we'll just see as a person card. There's a person card here, which could be you. And there's some sense of recovery here, but you're kind of concerned that someone is being false with you, which is causing you a lot of stress and anxiety in receiving some kind of expected money through a text message, letter, paperwork, and um, re receiving something of value here, okay? So going for the, let's see what's gonna happen. We got the Seven of Wands energy, we got the Eight of Pentacles energy, we got the Prince of Swords energy, we got the Strength card energy, we got the Hermit card energy, and we got the Nine of Wands energy. Okay, so, and the overall energy is, there's some opportunities coming in, guys. So, we see here that Seven of Wands is here. You're gonna be able to defend your position, okay? Let's move this up here. You're gonna be able to defend your position here, okay, in work. We see you're, you guys are educating yourself. Some of you guys are relearning some things or going back to school here with the Eight of Pentacles energy. We see that it's gonna allow you to take this action, okay? Knight of Swords energy. It's gonna give you the strength, courage, and confidence. And let's go further on this. Yeah, you're gonna defend yourself in a meeting, okay? Or networking thing going on here. There's gonna be other people involved, but you're gonna defend your position. You're gonna have the higher ground to win this. Yeah, there is some kind of intimate setting, some kind of meeting here with people, okay? And we see you guys are going to take an action because you're concerned about some kind of sad news. And we see the strength cards coming up. There's something to do with the stability and stableness or real estate for some of you where you're going to find the strength, courage, and confidence to make a commitment here, Hierophant, because of wanting to end, stop, complete, or take a break. And you're a little bit defensive here when it comes to putting the work or effort into the situation. Okay, so let's bring it all together. So it looks like a meeting is gonna take place here, okay, or you guys are gonna do some networking at work. You're gonna defend your position, and there was somebody who was gonna give you some kind of sad news about some kind of abrupt decision or sudden decision. And you are going to gain some kind of strength, courage, and confidence here in some kind of stability and stableness, uh, or something to do with this house, that has ended, stopped, or completed here in a commitment. It looks like you uh, guys are going to put the work or effort into uh, being defeated here or having a defensive energy about this. So I wanna go down another layer here, guys. Six of Wands talks about you're going to get recognition of a victory, okay? Because you're gonna fight for this, that this ending, this stopping, okay, so, or, Competition, this fighting, this, this arguments, these fights are gonna stop. So you're going to get a victory in your situation because these arguments and fights and debates are gonna stop. So let's go further and let's see more information here, guys. Can I have some more information about Taurus's situation when it comes to their career and finance, please? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we got the Courage card. You guys are going to have to have the courage to be patient here, okay? And don't lose hope because not all hope is lost. Okay, so I just want to bring this all together here and what's going to happen, okay? So, and I want to be straightforward about this, okay? So there's going to be a meeting. You're going to defend your position. You have the higher ground to win this when it comes to this work because of other people. This looks like there's some kind of competition. There was as abrupt decision or action is going to be taken that could cause some issues here, okay? It does look like you'll gain the courage, strength, and confidence to have a stable situation, but it's like you guys are like cons considering ending this commitment here because of these debates and arguments. 
but it does look like you guys are gonna be just defensive about the situation and kind of like on the fence about it, but you are gonna still work here. You're gonna put work and effort into this. It does look like you're gonna have attention or victory here. You're gonna get the confidence and a victory because this competition, these arguments, these disputes are going to end here with the death card energy. And let's go further here. In Seven of Pentacles, you're just gonna invest time to see how things are gonna play out so things can come full circle here with the world card energy with a new opportunity. So there is a situation that you're dealing with right now in your situation. It's a little bit trying and you're going to get through this. So spirit says, be patient. Okay. That, um, you are going to have a new situation and don't lose hope here because Ace of Wands is coming up. There is a new potential uh, opportunity coming in, even though you're still going to have to kind of work around these the situation at work here okay all right my beautiful tauruses let's take a look at your health and wellness let me get somebody to your health and wellness here show me the cards i need to see show me the cards i need to see okay so exercise for this month is the key caffeine free and acceptance of the situation here so just remember with the work situation, just be patient and don't lose hope because it's still going to have a positive outcome. Okay, guys. All right, my beautiful Tauruses. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in another date or two. There's multiple things you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.